Let's start the chapter 5.4 magnetic fields. Before we start to talk about the test book, uh, let's take a look of what is expected from the IB study guide. So if you try to take a look of these, I can put a link in the description. And uh, you can try to uh, go through the list here and you should find most of the stuff here uh, should have been learned in IGCSE physics already. The only new thing that you may find is uh, they would expect you to do more calculations. So that's why you have two equations here. But other than that, there isn't much about new concepts. So uh, we will still go through the basic ideas uh, that you need in this subchapter very soon. But uh, you should have an idea that um, there isn't much thing new about the idea. Uh, about the concept or the theory or laws uh, you have learned about Faraday's law and Lenz law already you also learned about the flaming left hand rule right hand rule and also the right hand grip rule in year 10 IGCSE so um, we'll try to apply that in a more quantitative manner so back to here when you try to read the textbook uh, you can find sometimes you like if you like to you can pause the video and read maybe these two pages uh, you could also try to follow me right now, which is uh, will be quite straightforward. So first of all, um, we have to understand that uh, whenever there is um, magnetic field lines, we will use the direction to represent, uh, which is called the B field. Uh, you have learned it in year 10 also. The idea is very similar to electric field that if you remember for electric field it's always go from positive to negative and for B field it's going from north to south always uh, some people define it in the past and there's nothing we can discuss about it it's simply the definition um, and so if you have a certain magnet like a permanent magnet here then uh, we would have the B field going from north to south it's a bit uh, well, this is not a magnet. This is just a, just a compass. So what I should say is if there is a B field here Then the compass should follow the direction of the B field here and If you remember uh, what you learned about right hand grip rule is that whenever there is current There must be magnetic field. So this is a 3d diagram that you can see for this wire which is uh, penetrating through this paper and it would have a current that is going up like this in that case you can now take out your right hand and try to do the grip which looks like this one if you recall what you learned then you should remember there are two parts of the right hand grip rule which one part is the thumb the other part is the other four fingers and each of them will represent either the current or B field in this diagram, uh, for showing the straight wire, then the thumb will represent the current running through the wire and the other four fingers represent the B view, which is grip in this direction. Okay. Uh, however, you can also interchange them and that is like on the right hand side, you may have these four finger representing the current. So if you try to see carefully, this is the current maybe i use a red color this is a current and if you try to try to trace the wire you will find it is going like this direction all right and so uh, this is how you can kind of curl up your fingers the, the four fingers here and then in that case with your right hand you can find your thumb must be pointing in this direction and this will representing uh, the b field in this case and let's not forget uh, the B field pointing from north to south again. So if the B field is pointing in this direction, and if you try to treat this coil as a magnet, then this must be north pole, this must be south pole. Because for magnets, uh, I mean permanent magnet, it must have a B field that going out from the north pole, and then it will be received by the south pole like this. All right, so it could look something like this in this case. So um, 
<clears throat> so the other way you can interpret it as is whenever you use a right hand grip rule with the thumb then the thumb uh, and if this is a magnet then that means this must be north pole in this case okay so this is the basic idea of uh, magnetic field and how to use the right hand grip rule you may want to read this and also try to take a look of this picture All right you should be able to draw the B field generated from a straight wire I think it should be written here uh, straight wire uh, circular coil and a solenoid solenoid actually means uh, many many circular wires like this all right so it's, it's very similar to uh, circular wire uh, you may ask just now I said uh, we will learn something more about the quantitative side that means the calculation uh, however I would say for this one the right hand grip rule we will not uh, officially put it into the IB physics right, because it's simply just not included I don't know why but then when I was studying in A level uh, it was included but if you're interested you may want to take a look actually I would recommend you take a look also uh, this is from hyperphysics which is one of the very useful website for you in IB especially your IA and if you try to look at that this is basically what we said about uh, the B field generated by the current uh, the most important thing I want to show you is here there is an equation here uh, and as you can see it said B equals to uh, the mu log which is a constant uh, you just treat it as a uh, I mean a constant I mean simply or like pi it will never change um, and it has certain meaning but then I don't think uh, I should explain to you right now if you look at the next symbol that will be I and it would divide by 2 pi r so I is simply the current running through it and r is the radius from the wire at that position so that means if you try to look at this equation then you can tell if you have more current then you must have more B field, a stronger magnetic field strength. So they are proportional, and that makes sense because when there's no current, no magnetic field is generated. At the same time, radius will be have having an inverse relationship with B. That simply means if a certain position, if you're closer, that means R is smaller, then you have a, a greater B field in this case. Right, because when R decrease, B will increase in that case. And that also makes sense because simply just like how magnets normally work. If you put them closer, the force will be stronger. If you put them far apart, uh, the force would not be obvious because it's not as strong. So this is an equation that uh, help you to understand. Uh, some people may even use it for IA, um, but you would not get to use it in IB. All right. However, I think it's essential to know about this. So for now, I think uh, it would be nice if you could try to work on the first example on your question set. So pause the video and try it now. Okay, so let's take a look of what it is. So it said there are two wires carrying uh, equal current into the page. So if you remember this symbol, uh, in year 10 we learned about it. And there are two kinds, which is the one is circle with a cross and circle with a dot. Um, and for cross, it is into paper or into page. And this is out of paper. The idea of how to remember this is, I hope you remember, is to remember this is because of the arrow. right? Imagine the arrow which has a feather at the back so if you try to shoot the arrow because arrow usually represent uh, will be representing the vector B field is a vector also it has a direction and if you try to shoot the arrow into the paper then what you see is the behind the back of the arrow which is looks like a cross and if the arrow is shooting to you towards you which is coming out from the of the paper then you will see the dots, the pointy head first, and that's why it is a dot. Okay, so I hope you can remember the symbol. Okay, so for now, it asks you to determine the direction of magnetic field at point P, which is here. You can see they are equal distance, all right? And so uh, it's more 
determining each of them and you draw an arrow for the showing the direction and you basically combining them because once again B field is vector so let's take a look of the one on the left hand side if you try to use your right hand grip rule which I'm sorry that I can't show you uh, using this video but if you try to use your right hand uh, you try to grip it you'll find your thumb pointing into the paper and the other forefinger should be gripping in this direction so if you imagine this direction kept longer I mean bigger and bigger and bigger by the time it gets to point P it will be like this all right in this direction so if you try to use one direction which is a straight arrow remember uh, direction for vector is it straight you can't say oh this is direction uh, this may be a path all right as a curve but then then it cannot be the direction of a vector so it will be more like this all right which ideally should be perpendicular to the distance like this because this should make a uh, circle like this similar for this one this will also make using the right hand grip you should also make a b view like this which is of course circular and then you make a bigger circle bigger circle and by the time you get to p you will have an arrow that is more like pointing to this because the, the circle will be oops i didn't draw very well will be more like this all right and this is the tangent of the circle so uh, since they are equal distant then these two b field will be of the same magnitude and when the, when you combine them then you can just simply imagine they are combined as if they are force uh, that you learn in chapter two so uh, i would say it would probably be something like this all right in uh, since horizontally they will add up together while vertically they will cancel each other because one is going up one is going down so the direction at p uh, you can say is going to the left in this case if you want to see more about the exper experiment itself showing how the b field could be seen I'll, I'll put the link in the description uh, it was a video that i took uh, two years ago and uh, i think you may want to revisit it all right and i think that video should explain quite well using the iron filling and using uh, the permanent magnet as well with the compass so you can take a look of that and i think there's actually one more i think yes this one all right which i would also put down uh in the description and you can see uh this is a current carrying wire and uh, i will run the current through it and that will alter the B field nearby. Right now is the earth magnetic, but once I switch it on, it will all be uh, switched to to a certain pattern, which is uh, governed by, not really governed, but can be predicted by the right hand grip rule. Okay, so um, I would actually recommend you to watch these two video. I'll put a link in the description below.